are back. Fly fly you. I think we look a little lower. Malfunction. Uh, Malfunction. Oh, we're back. Yes. Right. Hey. Woo. I hope we're back here. Gosh, Apologize for the Wi Fi issues. My bad. You were down, we were down here 45 minutes before the show started, all prepped and ready to rock and roll. It never fails. So Something always stupid happens. Anywho. What's going on? We are back. Missed you. We're back. Did you miss us? We miss you. It's been a very long time. Yes, it has. It's been like a minute. So let's get, get, I can't even talk. All right, we're back. We're back. Yay. We're back. Sweet. Tried it. Try it. Try it. Okay. So, I hope the video quality is better. Is it better? Can you tell me? Is this better? Okay. Kawhi Potato. Am I saying that right? Sorry. James Ven... Is it Venard? Venard? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic. What up? Now we're rolling. You know what really sucks? The intro that I put you on the spot on. We can't have that now. Dang it. Well, we... You can just leave the other screen. Alright, so anyways, we're back and roll. My computer's up and roll. I don't know what the so hell pooped out. Oh, happened there, but Life, Life gives, gives you lemons, better. you make lemonade, right? So, how are you? We're great. Okay, good. Um, yeah, alright. Kiki. There Kiki. We are. James, good to see you. So yeah, that was embarrassing. That potato? I feel a little dumb. Lava we'll squirrel. We're back, Brad Ford. We're back. We're back. Yay. That really makes me mad though. Yeah, it does stink. Every now and then, it's good. I mean, it does that. It's life. Whatever. Who cares? Our kids aren't even online. We are in a storm. It's crappy weather outside right now. Yeah, we went from 73 cold. today to 57. Next Thursday is going to be 35 at night. Come on! I'm not ready for winter yet. Not one bit. <laughs> Groovy lava squirrel <clears throat> medic. When life gives you lemons, you freeze them and throw them at people. I, I like, like that. that. Right when it all of a sudden it goes, <laughs> a nice little lemon ball. All right, T Studio X, good to see you, bro. Terrell, what up? What we do, Andrew Cole? So about the Cardinals off? Oh, that was uh, <laughs> quiet potato. That's awesome. Andrew, that's Great that's idea. a win. Yeah, yeah. That's a win we should have had. That's all I got to say. So anyway, so if you guys, how you guys been doing? Uh, if you, our first attempt, we we're talking about uh, a little peanut got ears pierced today, and that was quite the. Uh, that was Yesterday. Quite the, well, yesterday that was quite the uh, quite the day. So we needed to drink. Needless to say, um, we were at the um, what's that? Is that Claire's Jewelry Store or it's a store? What? Store? Claire's? Claire's Claire's Boutique. It's boutique, the little Claire's girls. Color. Whatever. We got Accessory. one year done, and the second one was a pain in the butt to get done. So I actually left the room. Yeah. I left the store. I sat out on the bench, and he held her. Yeah. So. I mean, some of you guys may have heard the story, but you know what? We'll, we'll let people come back oh, in. Guys, share potato. it out. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Yes, potato. Thank you. Um, so I'm talking now. I'm going ahead and start this up myself. So what happened was we were at the store. I went to one store with a little peanut to get, she wanted to look at some um, earrings and whatnot. And Suplex City vlog. Whoa. The wife and Brenda Lachilli went to another store and little penis said, Daddy, I want to get my ears pierced for my birthday. Perfect. Well, my birthday's in, in a couple days, so I said, sure, we'll get your ears pierced on her birthday. So the woman working there said, you know what? Usually I like to do this with two people here. That way you have one here and this here, one here, that area. You can click and be done because there's only one person here. You do one ear, and chances are whoever the little kid is, is going to have a meltdown is not going to get this one done. I said, you know what? We'll, we'll, call, we'll call in advance. So the wife's comes to Claire's with Brendan and same uh, thing happens with the ears pierced and what does the wife do? Let's just do it today because she has no patience. So Whatever, like, I have patience. So I'm like, all right, fine. Yo, it's your boy, Leo. What happened? Peanut got one ear done. She cried, it hurt, and this ear took at least an hour. And an half. hour it at least an hour to get done. It was hot. Wife got so mad she left the store. I had to sit on the little kid chair holding little Peanut in my hands here. Jinky. I had to buy her an LOL. Hello. An Rush LOL. Or? LOL dolls. You guys are LOL dolls. There's about eight. They're like eight to eight ten dollars at Walmart or whatever. Twenty-three dollars. For a freaking LOL doll that he promised her she could pick out if she finished the second ear. He walks out, gets his. I got stuck with the bill. 
$95 yeah, to pierce ears in an LOL doll. I almost shiitake mushroomed my pants. So yeah, that was quite that was quite the day. That's all I got to say. But her ears got She's pierced. Crazy. She's very happy. She ran out. The, the made my heart melt. She just gave me a hug. She put her, her, her arms around my legs and put her, hand, her head on my thigh and said, thank you, daddy. It was, it was awesome. So... All right, to boy Leo. What up, Leo? <clears throat> Jiggy, hello. He almost elbowed me just now. James Curry. Did you guys see that? Good to see him, James Curry. Hope your uh, health is good. Good dude. All right, Suplex Jeez. City. Hello. All right, let's get the party started. Hello, so. Jinky. Welcome, welcome. I don't know how to say your last name. So is it Tarion? I'm not sure. Sorry. But welcome. The, the bouncy ball. Oh God, here we go with the bouncy ball again. Groovy Lava, Squirrel Medic. I'm licensed piercer, would have done it for, oh man. Really? Dang it. That, it was it was uh, very stressful, very stressful. I would never recommend it doing with just one person for a little kid. That's just, um, let's just say I left. That's how frustrated. Yeah, she's like, I was out. She's, she's like, will you please help me? I'm like, oh. he just stands there, calm, cool, collect, dude. And because I still have to be mom. She like, waited the for the guy. second person to show up. We seriously? <sighs> no. It was. I don't it's wait. It's great being parents. Mm -hmm. We, we Did, wait. Love didn't it. I just say I have patience? <laughs> Dang it! I busted myself um, out on that one. You sure did. Shut up, Tim. All right, so. Just kidding. We got ourselves a fat cat. Four fat seven, cats. yes, that's what she's turning seven, and it was a hot mess. Let me tell you, Ranger nine two three zero eight. Welcome, welcome. Sorry. All right. So, Did if you're new to the channel, from you, Ranger, I'm sorry. Hit the thumbs up. Do me a solid favor, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, get notified every time we go live or upload a video. You can join the Hot Sauce Junkie crew. All right, so we're gonna let's get the party started here. So, um, this is actually. A array of sauces that I got for my birthday. We need from... a farting dog shirt. Yes, we do. James Curry right, suggested she's it. She's right over here. And I'm she already farted. I'm sure she'll be popping in here shortly. Oh. Um, from the company called Fat Cat. Now, I went online. I don't know why the company's called Fat Cat. Uh, I know they're based out of Florida. Um, the label's right there. This little cat dude. <clears throat> but I'm assuming, like we're talking, well, they probably had a fat cat. No idea. So, funny story. Um, well, T Studio X. We got the first one started open up here. Um, I had a cat when I was single. Roommate, good buddy of mine. Um, I had a cat, and my roommate kept giving my cat soft food. And I know that soft food is not very healthy for animals. I said, dude, what are you doing? He's like, I want to make your, your cat fat. I want a fat cat in this house. And he successfully made my cat fat. And that's all my cat did yeah, was. So all my cat did was eat, sleep, and do his business in the litter box. Meow. All right. Ranger92308, it's Team Ranger. Comments aren't show, but you know me, so it's all good. Okay. I just want to make sure if I didn't, because your comments are showing. I, sorry. James Curry says, I have not had any fat cat products. Yeah, this is the first first too, so if you guys have any fat cat sauces let us know what you think i know we have um four bottles here i think there's there's more than four there's a bunch of them on mine here but what their quote is is that they're flavor forward not, not heat forward heat. so, so this is good one. she asked she's like are these really hot because her tummy doesn't like, like that stuff so I don't. but that's all it says is it's not heat forward and that you want to taste what's in them not just make your food hot so our goal is to use flavor like and heat company. as complements so that we can provide unique, exotic, twisty taste. There we are. Are we on? Yay! I don't know what's going on. I am so sorry. Yeah. Good Lord. Man, this is just really stinky tonight. Sorry, guys. All right. Sorry. Yes, yeah, so we do apologize. Okay. Well, right. we'll try this anyways, third attempt. Anyways. They, they say three, stri three strikes and you're out, so I don't know. So, I'm all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, right, so much. this sauce here apparently is, is not really hot, which I know the wife's very happy to hear that. Yes. Um, 
as always, flavor is always the key, but I do like a little kick, and I like to burn. I can kick you. No. Do you like do that in your kick? sleep sometimes. All right, so the first we're going to review on is a jalapeno sauce, and I've never really had Steven a Carter. brutally hot jalapeno sauce before. So this one is called the Everyday Green. We better try these before we keep buffering yeah. and get kicked off again. Damn what you, the Wi-Fi. Heck? Dang you, Wi-Fi. All right, our Everyday Green Jalapeno Hot Sauce is a mild table condiment, a green chili sauce. I'm glad you said condiment. Really? Created specifically to complement a wide variety of foods. Use it anywhere you want to taste the fresh snap of green chilies. Ooh. Try on tacos, grilled or fried chicken, seafood, fresh, freshly shuckled, fresh? freshly shuckled oysters. I've never had an oyster oh. in my life. Who's had oysters? Soups, I have not. Soups, chili, grilled street corn, and more. Wow, I've never had grilled street corn. Sorry, I'm late. I'm in Houston, Texas, managing a Red Cross shelter. Stephen Carter, you're amazing. You go, yo, 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 Holy Ghost Peppers. I'm just I'm glad, glad. this damn Wi-Fi is working. It's crazy. Sorry. We buffered and we lost the stream a couple times, so I'm really sorry. Welcome back, everybody. Yes. Totally sorry. This is not cool. But, Stephen Carter, that's awesome. Everyone do me, do me a favor and smack that Wi-Fi. I thought he was going to say smack Kate. Smack my wife. All right, I'm getting a very strong aroma of jalapeno peppers. Very strong. Let so, me see it again. See it or smell it? Well, let me you smell You can see it from here. You gotta Shut smell it from up, here. Tim. Oh. I don't smell any jalapeno. Really? No. Nope. Well, let's get rid of this full restrictor. Fat cat, these things, get rid of these things. Oh, ah! Two it's points. It's on my computer. Get it. That's off. two points. Ew. All right. Ew. Really? You don't smell jalapeno peppers at all? No. Really? What do you smell? Like a green, not a green pepper. I don't, it's... Well, bell pepper... It's, it's like a chili. Bell pepper is an ingredient in this one. Well, then that bell pepper over... overtook. I'm a big girl. I can have a big spoon. Well, I brought them both down because I never know. Here we go. Smack the wife or, or wife, I'm confused. I'm sure he'd like to smack me every now and then. I would never do that. You, I'm sure you just thought about it. Hey! What up, Kenny? I didn't answer that, so I'm assuming that is probably, I'm yeah. Concentrate on the pour here. See, still. So it's got a... Not answering. It's got a thin consistency with chunks in it. It kind of looks like the consistency of applesauce, which I do say a lot, but I'm just trying to. I don't be smell the jalapeno. It smells really? more vinegary. Oh, it's got apple cider. Is that apple cider vinegar? You can't cheat. Why? All right, let's knock this out. Everyday green. What does it say at the bottom? I'm in my glasses. It's perfectly good. That That's one. That's her kitty oh. cat impersonation. Oh. All right, ready? One, ready. two, ten. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's got good consistency to it. It's chunk. It's like very chunky. Chunky. Chunky, but with a watery. It's a thinner. Mm -hmm. It's got apple cider vinegar in it. Mm. Makes it a little tart. And now I'm getting the jalapeno. The bell pepper <clears> is a little. It's taking away from the. Jalapenos can be really strong. They have a distinct flavor, but not spicy. So it's got vinegar, jalapeno mm. pepper mash, which is right. jalapeno peppers and salt, it's bell different. peppers, garlic, apple cider vinegar, cane sugar, water, and xanthacum. I don't taste much garlic. It's very salty. It's the vinegar. But I do love the consistency on it. It'd be really good. Just, it's really good. I'm a chip and salsa girl. I'd probably just put that on my chips. That'd be a great idea. That's really good. And what part <clears throat> of Florida is it from? Does it say? You can read that. Oh, jeez. My bottles, 21 year old eyes. Some of these, some of these bottles, it's really hard to read what. what Orlando, it says. Florida, guys. It's, it's like you need to get a magnifying glass or a flash. I actually brought a flashlight down here. Mm. It's hard to see. It's but that's good. I'm impressed with it. Sherry McMillan. There's not a lot of jalapeno sauces I, I care for. Um, I do like jalapenos, but I. It, 
Smash that thumbs up, guys. Can't oh, yeah. find one I really like, but this is this is good. It's got a um, <sighs> delishy flavor, which for me, I say that a lot when it comes to jalapeno sauce. It's got a, and that's what I like to put in burgers. So she likes the chips and salsa. I'm thinking a burger. Hang Deshaun, what's up? The real is it? I'm gonna say this wrong. I'm so sorry. Is it Arce? Arce? A R C E E. I'm so sorry if I just said your name wrong. Welcome, guys. Yeah, we we. I don't know. We, we do our best to try to read what I'm channels sorry. are. I'm sorry. I'm just glad the ding Wi-Fi is working. All right, so like I said, Fat Cat, they have a bunch of sauce out. The four good. bottles we're going to be reviewing on tonight are a part of the package. Share it out every week. Package that I got for my birthday, and they from mild to medium, so maybe one might be a little on the warm side, but they're they don't focus on heat, they focus on flavor. I like flavor versus <clears throat> heat. James Curry says, No mask needed to shop the hot sauce junkie Tim merch shop. We got that right. Um, it's getting cold out. Um, Everybody needs a sweatshirt. We need a sweat. We got hoodies, we got hoodies, we got shirts. So, I'm the, glad we have Wi Fi. That's yeah, so all my. All right, what is next? Yes, host. RC. Oh, duh. Okay, just checking. I want to make sure I'm saying the right name before I keep going. And I mess up a lot of names. You just never know. But nice to meet you. Welcome. Welcome. All new channels. New channels. And existing channels. Veterans, friends have been here forever. Family, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. All right, Timmy so. wants to pet my dog. Can I pet his? Sure. You can Who pet. said that? Stephen Carter. <laughs> It's oh, an awesome boy. shirt. I love this shirt. If that's a question, if people want to see Doug, can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? I saw the shirt. I'm like, I'm buying it. James right. Curry says, every like boosts the Wi-Fi signal. I think he's Dude, right. Dude, you, you need to, like, market your, um, little, <clears throat> your little verbiage. There you go. There you go. You I was like... The funny thing is, is putting her in the spot because she did it to me a lot. I don't know. You I, 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 I went like laugh. this and you flinched I, just I now. Laugh. Like, that's gonna I can laugh. laugh. All right, so the next one to go into do or review on is going to be the purry purry sauce. Can you um, purr? Well. <laughs> it's like a cat choking on a hairball. Oh boy. All right, so this one here says our version of the classic South African condiment. That said condiment. Puri puri sauce. That could be a weird word to screw up, Tim. Yes, it is. Okay. Try it brushed over grilled meat, chicken, and veggies as a Ooh. sandwich spread on wings. Heck, we even mix it with oil and vinegar and serve it as a salad dressing. That's up here. I like alley. to sell that. That's see, she know. I don't use salad dressing. I use hot sauce with salad dressing. Magical mix of caramelized onions, garlic, ginger, tomatoes, and puri puri peppers. Small red chilies that pack some powerful back heat. We've kept it thick too, so you can also enjoy it as a dip. And there you go. See? There you go. Oh, you, what do you know? What do you know? King Deshaun, uh, are you guys going to try the new 2020 pocket chip? I hear it's hotter and than ever and has extract in it this year. I will not. She will not. Be doing that one. I was up for probably five hours in a lot of pain from the last yes. one. I will never do that again. Initially, she ordered two chips for me, but then she's like, I want, I want to do one. I'm like, okay, fine. And she regrets. It wasn't the chip that was hot. It was the aftermath. I could eat it. It was fine. It wasn't terrible. It was hot. But it was like, internally, you can't, like, cool down your insides. So, like, if you were sweating, you could wipe it off. Inside, I was just like... I just felt like it was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. She it was just, actually hovering over the toilet. I had like somebody so, dumped water over my head. Um, as for I'm me, do, or, I, I've went online. I've I've thought about buying one, ordering one. It's like I have not pulled the trigger as of yet. Don't pull um, the trigger. I, I probably won't, because one chip and shipping is like fifteen dollars for a chip. Mm. And I heard it doesn't taste know. very good. There's a lot of people doing the chip right now. Yeah. Um, and to get on on the hype sounds fun, but at the same time, it's like. There's other chip challenges out there. The Four Horsemen Chip Challenge, which which I've done. I'm actually the current record holder on it. Check out the Four Horsemen uh, Chip Challenge, the sideshow sauces. So there's other chip challenges out there, but everyone seems to jump in the pocky one chip. Well, that's because so. the name is catchy and it's been around and it's, it's, it is cool. But. All right, so anyway, so we'll 
Let's get back it's to back the purry purry purry. Fat, fat cat. So, purry. wife's got to work on her purry. Larry D. Got to work what? on her purry. So it's funny itself. The first one had a floor streak. This one does not. Because they said it's All a right. thick that's sauce. Good. That's good. My first rat. I'm gonna see if I'm on the same wavelength here. Smells like spaghetti sauce. Really? See, I'm thinking tacos. <laughs> Larry D can't stay long. Okay. All right, Larry D, well, good to see him. See us. That's all that matters. Mr. Mark, nice hello. Guy. What's up? Welcome, welcome, Mark Sark. What's going this on? It smells like a... A mediocre challenge. Right. It smells like a... Um... The Pocky will be my last video. Sherry McMillan, what? Your last video? Why? Like a, like a, a uh, the taco dip. Okay. The chip, the taco dip? What does an awesome job make a taco dip? That's what it smells like to me. It smells like... The taco dip. No. We're not seeing eye to eye The Dubs family, what's up? What's up, Dub? Pain apple, James Curry. Okay. You want the baby spoon? I'm not a baby anymore. I am a big girl now. Right. I wear my big girl pants. So, here's the pour. That ain't coming out. Now I understand there's no flow restrictor. Wow, this is a thick sauce. You might want to put the cap. Oh, oh boy. So if you guys have a taco dip, taco, um, come on out. There we go. It smells like... The taco dip, this is what this, to me it smells just like that. This is... Fire Squad, welcome, welcome. Did I say hi? Very, very, very thick Mr. Nice sauce. Guy. Hello. Guys, if I'm missing your it chat, I apologize. It smells like it kind of has like an oregano or something in it. This is a very peculiar aroma. It smells really good. Yeah. I've never smelled the hot sauce smell like this before. It's different in the bottle. Like a like Parmesan. The, yeah, like this it's smells. It's kind of almost got a Parmesan. You know, I, now we're seeing eye to eye. I was going to say that. I know that smell. This smell like the taco dip. Now I'm smelling Parmesan. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Ready? Yep. One, Ready? two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Ooh. Mm. Flavor wise, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Not spicy. No. Maybe a little bit of high, like. Wow. I've never. I'm not gonna wear that. This is a different flavored hot sauce. Good job, mods. Catching that one. Thank, <clears throat> you, thank you. It's like. Now I'm getting the spaghetti. Yeah. It smells like Parmesan. Like a garlic, it like, like a, like a garlicky. Garlicky. You guys, so would, yeah. it, this would be really good. You guys got to so, try this one. Ingredients are onions, water, I was a little nervous on this canola one. oil, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, ginger, garlic, sea salt, sugar, yeah, paprika, pure pure peppers, xanthan gum. The heat is a zero. The flavor is outstanding. It's an amazing. It's really good. It's an amazing condiment. I don't know if I'd use it for salad dressing, though, but I definitely, definitely put this on spaghetti now as you say that. It's just got an amazing flavor. It's, it's really got good. a little bit of a texture to it. There's no heat to it though. No. At all. But it's really good. The heat, if there was anything, is coming from the first sauce that might have had a pepper flavored, but that's it. Do you, 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 you get a sauce and you're like, okay, I can taste the pepper, I can taste the ghost Good job, pepper. Sherry. I can, I, can, I can taste the scorpion. Stay I don't out of taste here. any pepperness at all. It's really, really good. Definitely recommend that one for sure. Wow. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Yeah, I see that. That's just kind of, um, yeah, no. <laughs> Get out of here. I didn't even see what that was. I was too busy doing Chat my Chatting with here. you guys. Eating curry purry sauce. Purry. That was really good. It is super good. No, no clue, Kiki. That's a little strange. But anyway, this sauce is really good. All right. You, you guys would really like it. It would be really, really good on. <clears throat> so pizza. yeah, current sales. Some of the guys, some of these bottles are online for like three bucks. That's really, really cheap. Can't find a lot of hot sauce there that cheap. Three no. bucks. 
And it has it's, a really good flavor. I spent over 50, it's free shipping. So fat cat. Gotta check them out. Awesome Super job. Good. All right, two down, two to go. Mods, you do a great job. All righty. Next up is going to be, guys, they have a lot of sauces, so just bear with me as I'm trying to. I can't to tell you what the last sauce is. Because you guys are going to like the name have, of this one. It's going to be funny. They have mild, medium, hot, and extra hot. So I think you'll get a kick out of the last one. All right, next one is the Everyday Red Jalapeno. So going from another jalapeno shirt, sauce here. So. Shirts for our videos. Heck yeah, groovy lava squirrel. <clears throat> So I'll let the wife deal with the chat. Um, so guys, I don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm just trying to um, promote the company and explain what's all in these sauces here. So next one here is called the Everyday Red. So by the way, you're gonna say Everyday Bro. <laughs> no. So I'm gonna have the wife read the bottom line because I like the way she says it. It's perfectly good. She's getting better with the purring. I think so. What up in the house? What's up, Roger? So this is considered a medium heat. So James we'll Curry see. Shop, the hot sauce chunky tin merch store for all your Christmas needs. Yes. Thank you. T-shirts, hoodies, um, available on the website. Yeah. There's information on the uh, channel link on top. Also in the description box down below. Gotta get yourself a shirt. Go for it. Um, we are currently out of large is it large um i'm gonna place another order so yeah. it shouldn't take too long to get it the cool thing but is the COVID crap this, go whole, this, thing. this whole this one must be child proof get brad mcglott's famous knife you may have to it's right there it's right there get it so the cool thing is that people buying the merch is kind of cool it's like a good feeling yeah, we sold out of this one so that's cool yeah so. but then COVID happened and then guess what couldn't order a lot yeah we're gonna get we're gonna order order tank tops for the summer and Get some trucker. I, I want to get some. a. We can get you a hot sauce chunky Tim trucker hat. We should get that some was mentioned. Hats. You should get oh, trucker hats. I love hats. rustic vintage. People talked about hats. getting can koozies and stuff. So. Uh, I want a t-shirt with Kate's face on it. <clears throat> How about like this? Yo. No, then we could we could put up another another design. We could do a hot sauce chunky Tim with the wife combo shirt. So. Me yelling at him, going. Ah. That never happens, ever. It does on a daily basis, like every day. All right, so this is the uh, Everyday Red, not Everyday Brew, Everyday Red. So it says here, flavorful and fresh, our Everyday Red Jalapeno Hot Sauce is our take on the classic medium heat table condiment. He said that word again. That's the third time he's used the word condiment. It's a condiment. Our most versatile sauce, it's made to complement a wide variety of foods from eggs and sandwiches to soups, stews, and barbecue, wings, burgers, and more. A few dashes is all it takes. It also makes a great replacement for red pepper sauce and recipes too, or as a wing sauce when mixed with equal parts of butter. I like right. it. It so sounds like delicious. Wings, so. I'm reading up on it as we speak. Flow restrictor. It's gonna go bye bye. She get a basket. No, you're gonna flip it on my. Ha ha! Landed on yours. Two points for her computer. Two points for my computer. Landed right here. Got mad skills. He's got mad skills. Butter makes everything better. I just condom mint. <laughs> what flavor? What flavor condiment? <laughs> uh, and then James Curry says butter makes everything better. Butter flavored Flav condiment? Hey, to each their own. Oh my. See where this combo is going. I have to creep on a PG2 moment. Also, speaking of the merch, while well, she's gathering the that aroma. That one makes me want to sneeze, to be honest. PG Timmy shirts are also Bacon available. Flavored. Size Byron GB? No, sizes, 20. Uh, oh. Also limited on the PG Timmy shirts. Is that New Orleans? I'm assuming I'm bad at this, but in Green Bay 20. Oh, they're tied. All right, uh -oh. ingredients are jalapeno pepper mash. That's the first ingredient. So, uh, vinegar, roast, roasted red idea. peppers. Roasted peppers, water, salt, citric acid, cane sugar, garlic, paprika, and xanthan gum. Kiki says I need a shirt that says, shut up, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably the best seller. Ooh, Kiki, that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to shake up, this up Tim. a little bit. <laughs> shut up, Tim. You know? Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, now, my. now you viewers 
family members, friends, you guys know that's what I deal with. Shop. <laughs> See, I'm nice. I'll say that you talk too much sometimes. You know what? Is Roger still online here? Where's Raj? I'm, I don't know. The, I got the the um, company Roger? on my computer. But hot uh, hot Dang Show. You guys are Hot Dang Show. Roger, him and his wife did a show together, and he flat out said you talk too much. Who it's kind of funny. That? Roger did. He said I talk too no, much? No, that his wife talked too much. Annalyn. Annalyn right. doesn't talk too much. Get your spoon ready. Ready? He tapped my spoon. <laughs> That's a PG TV <laughs> moment. Oh, jeez. I'm setting myself up for this one. Ooh, this looks good. That's what we're calling it these days. Tapping spoons. That's what that's called. All right, so this is a jalapeno-based hot sauce. Which I know. Stephen Carrier, let's just be serious. I'm, for me, I, I don't recall ever having a red jalapeno hot sauce before, so. Stephen Carter some... sticking up for you. Stephen Carter, my bro. See? We're just trying to give an honest Bros. review. We're just trying to be silly. We are being very serious. Very serious. Very serious. See the little seeds in there? Can I tap your spoon? Please do. <laughs> well, I like my, my spoon tapped. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the Everyday Red. Cheers, guys. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh, lots, of, lots of seeds. I like that one. Mm -hmm. A lot of vinegar. Lots of vinegar, but I like the seeds. Mm. I like the chewing of the seeds. I like that one better than the green one, though. Mm -hmm. Wings? Mm. Sure. So it's very similar to the green one, except for the green versus the... I mean, what's, make, it's, what's making it red? Just the red jalapeno? Uh, red, oh, red paprika. bell peppers. Paprika's in there, too. So Roasted red peppers. Toast Ranger! Tap that spoon t-shirt. Yes. Tap that spoon. Ding, ding. It. Tap it like so, yeah, you like it. Definitely they say that they recommend this place on wings. I, I think that would be outstanding on wings. Absolutely. Um, Consistency is a, a little runny like the first time <coughs> thing, but it's got good stuff to chew on. I like that one better. The flavor is better on That's that good. one. The other one's a little bit more, the green one is a little bit more bitter, I think. Yeah. But still awesome. But I definitely liked... So far, this is my favorite. Yes. <clears throat> Perfectly good. Ooh. She's got to work on her purring. Purr. <laughs> she got you little cat ears. Shut up, Tim. Halloween's, <laughs> Halloween costume, little cat ears. Uh, All right, let's see here. I'm just I'm refreshing silly. here. Roger, what would you put that on? Is that an old comment? Her spoon. Which one is best for Which eggs? Which one is best for eggs? Oh, probably. I don't know. Probably the jalapeno one. I'm not gonna say that one. I'm gonna say so far. I'm gonna say the the last one we did. That one. That would yeah. be my second choice. This one here is all about Italian food. It's just. It tastes like. It's got Parmesan cheese in it. It just tastes like it would just go <clears throat> on like chicken Parmesan or egg parm. You know, like egg eggplant. Um, I don't I think, know. But these, really the sauce, they, they're not hot. No, so it's just tangy. Those of you out there, we only have our own levels of heat and what we can tolerate and what I can tolerate, what she can tolerate. Dang Show said, those sauces would be great sunscreen lotions. Yes, thank you. James, oh, thanks, James Gray. Hi, I think Show. so. That would be a great You're idea. You're a silly one tonight. That would be an outstanding idea. I don't know if I would do that. I mean, try it, maybe. All right, so the last one here, like the wife said, um, the, the name of the sauce is it's catchy, it's funny. I'll let her, I'll let oh, her say this the... This is pretty funny. The last sauce from Fat Cat that we have is called Cat in Heat. Look at the color. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, that's just kind of funny. nothing wrong with a cat in heat. Why are you looking at me? Pushing the PG Timmy moment there a little bit. Cat and heat. Like, seriously? Yes. I am very serious. <laughs> All right, so this is 
we're oh jumping my. up to the uh, the, heat, the heat level. I'm a little wow. nervous. Ugh. Oh All right, my God, guys, I want chicken um, parm. I know, me too. Online, some of these bottles are as cheap as $3.99. Teddy, it's Teddy. It's really, really cheap. <laughs> Stephen Carter said petting the kitty. Yes, pet the kitty. Meow. Meow. Again, we're pushing the PG Tim. National there. Geographic up in this review. I knew it would talk about the cat and eat. We'd be pushing the PG Tim. We're, we're, we're serious here. It's so serious. Okay, so anyways, um, spend over $50, it's free shipping. Use Brad's knife. I know, some, right these, here, buddy. some of these opened up real good and some of these did not. Right here, buddy. Probably because of cat and heat. Okay, t-shirt idea. There's a bottle of hot sauce on the shirt and a pic of Kate and a bubble caption from the hot sauce pointing at Kate's saying she's the reason I'm so hot. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, oh. so I'm going to shake this puppy up here because this is the... Uh, I think I got hot sauce in my eye. That's not good. That's never a good feeling. No. All right, this multiple award-winning ghost pepper sauce oh, is sultry God. scorching. Smoky combination of oh. ghost peppers, habaneros, chipotles, roast tomatoes, and more with an ever-increasing heat level that lingers long in the mouth. The dog is under here going... Oh, Anyways, these dogs are crazy mix too. into ketchup, barbecue sauce, and more to add depth <sighs> and spice, or stir into soups, chili, and more for a deeper, complex flavor and heat. Stephen Carter, y'all are great. Thanks for the laughs. I really needed that. Got to get back to work. Oh, Please. you're gonna miss out on the cat and heat, Stephen yeah. Carter. Stephen All right, Carter. so this 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 is going yeah. to be one of the hotter sauces. Again, they they're not known for the heat. We they're love known Stephen for the flavor. Carter. So Stephen Carter, good to see you. Bumpskis. Now that I'm off of the. Uh, Fat Cat's website, I can pop back in the chat here. So, consistency's good. Check that out, it's not even moving. Great, oh, there it goes. It's like that commercial with the ketchup. Yeah, no flow or shrimp. I'm there. a little nervous. So I fat cat, don't like ghost peppers, guys. Fat Cat, you got it. Thicker sauce is no flow restrictor. Thunder one's flow restrictor. Now I, now I get it, but I'm just saying for me, these things just. Oh boy. Bye bye. I don't know about this. All right. Smells smoky. Yep. Smoking barbecue. Oh, barbecue. Yes. It smells really, really good. I don't know about this, though. Guys. I'm thinking of grilled chicken breast. Don't put this on that. I'm thinking about, you know what, this sounds really weird. I, w I don't know why. Like smothering like a burger. That would be a great idea. Okay. That's good. A little chunky. A little chunky with the fat cat to add some heat. Look at that guy. That that is just that is a very thick sauce. Smells right. amazing. All right, now we're flowing. That's Maya down there. She's excited for us. She's so excited. Oh, it does smell really, really good. That does smell really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Really, really, really good. All right, fat cat, cat and heat. Let's see if the uh, yeah. see if. Cats in heat. Let's see if the cat's in heat. <laughs> mm. Ooh. <clears throat> well, hello. Mm. Meow. Ooh. Any food you barbecue on the grill. That's your that's go to. It. Yep. It's got that smokiness to it. The aroma and the flavor keep it's not spicy as soon as mm -hmm. you like taste it it is hotter by far than the other three without a doubt but it's my heat scale for me i would give it like probably a, a half a point i'd say it's like a three or a four but it's for me. it's oh it's good it's good and now i got like a, like a little tartness at the end like a citrusy tartness hot dang show hey groovy want to play you sound creepy roger hey want to play I think she'll have to block you. Just kidding, Roger. Mm. No, this is really good, though. But it's, yeah, it's got like a smokiness flavor in the beginning. But I get like a little citrusy at the end. Mm -hmm. Actually, I had to get an ice cube for that one. Fat cat, you rock. That's that good. is good. 
I'm a little, I'm pretty impressed with that one. That would be really good on a juicy burger. Like a California burger. I would definitely put this on a, a grilled chicken breast off the, off the grill. I love it. A grilled chicken breast off the grill. Yeah. A grilled chicken breast off the grill. You can buy grilled chicken that's not really grilled chicken. Okay, then. So if you go to McDonald's and order grilled chicken, is it going to taste like a grilled chicken sandwich? No. Yes. I'm saying at home on the grill, you dingus. <laughs> he called me a dingus. <laughs> I'll have one more of this. This is good stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. That's good. Dingus? He called me dingus. Okay. Our kids walk mm. around saying, calling each other dingus and chungus. Wow, that's good. <clears throat> chungus. There you go. Yeah. Well, that was a little bit more tangy than I thought. <clears throat> Fat cat, good job. Good call, James Kirk. <clears throat> <It's McDonald's. clears throat> I'm just giving an example. Wife says, if you go over 150 sauces, you are done now. At 207, my life is in danger. Uh-oh. 150 sauce. Oh, God. Groovy Lao, I could not tell you many hot sauces I've tried or sampled. I have no idea. When we go visit family. Hey, Corey, what's going on? Hey, Corey, what is up, dude? Wow, long time no see, bro. We go bro. visit family Corey. in Florida. And um, we go to Pepper <clears throat> Palace. I go in, we, you know, we try some sauces or whatever. Him and the boy will be in Pepper Palace for like two hours while we walk around the entire stop. Like the, all those shops. Come back. I just spit because my mouth is watering from that sauce. It's hot. Eat. Guess you it's caught getting, that one, huh? It's getting to work. Anyway. Man, no, yeah. we'll, we'll, no, we'll be a pepper. We'll be, pepper tr palette. we'll be trying every single sauce I have, all the chips, all that stuff. <clears throat> I can't get enough. See, everyone's saying, everybody knows Corey. Corey's a chili head. So we're going to say hi to Corey. Good to see you, bro. I <clears throat> lost my mod privileges. It has been a while. Corey, Thanks. you're not the only person that said that. Um, YouTube, we all, all everyone that has YouTube uh, content, we've all been, um, how can I say this nicely? Um, things have changed, not in a good way. It is weird, though, because... Like, I lost, like, 60 subscribers for some freaking reason. I was not happy. So, I don't know, Corey, you're not the only one that lost their blue wrench, but you got it back, dude. So, it's not me. It's not the wife. It's YouTube being YouTube, and so... All right, go look for people, and they're gone. Yeah. You go look for their channel. I can't find them. So, I've been... People who've donated and... Friends of the channel has, I've copied and put them into like a page just to keep their links because it's easier for me to find everybody. I'm usually asking Sharon McMillan to, hey, can you find this person? I can't find this link. Cause we always can rely on Sherry. Sherry, 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 Sherry. you put something on there that <clears throat> you're not going to do in another video. You're done doing that? Yeah, Sherry, sure, I missed that because I, I, I had the... Uh, Fat Cat's website up on my computer just went up. Re everything. Sherry. Don't you do that, Sherry. Pepper Palace is a land of vinaigrette. Oh my. You're crazy. Hey, <clears throat> when you're walking around and you see a bunch of hot sauces and you walk in and you have some free chips and salsa yeah, and you get to taste a bunch of that? How can you go wrong when I go into getting free samples? You actually like have a meal there. Rob Shaler, I lost people who I was following. I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. It's really I weird. I don't know why YouTube does the stuff they do. I don't know. The amount of money that company's making off of channels. It's crazy. Groovy Lava Squirrel, my Pocky video shot to 1,250 views. I don't know why, but I am now over 100 subs. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is great. That's so cool. That is a very huge, huge accomplishment. Getting to it. When I first started doing this thing, when she called me, I was a, told me I was a dork. Everyone that I talked to said getting to 100 is a huge thing. I'm like, it's only 100. But it is. 100, and then you get 1,000, and it just it, it just takes off. So the fact that you got that many views are very important. Views are great. So that's awesome, Groovy. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, the pocket chip, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, it doesn't really... There's so many channels out there doing multiple chips. There's, there's no really point. And I've heard that it does not taste very good. So why would I want to spend... $15 shipping a chip that tastes like crap. <clears throat> well, just, just to, watch all of you guys do it. Just to say I hate it. We'll support our loving people. 
people that want to do it. What's the so if you're going to do a, ch do a chip challenge, like I said before, check out the Four Horsemen from Sideshow Sauces. Mad at Mad, Mad Am, I love that guy. That dude's awesome. Um, I did 15 of his chips, and the show's on the channel. To check it out. Um, small company trying to get itself up and rolling. But, uh, yeah, the wife was here with me, and I was, I was sweating. <clears throat> it was a hot chip. Ralph's trucking. <clears throat> what up, Ralph? Good to see you. Groovy did eight out of the ten chips. Well, I give you a high five because, um, yeah. Some of the stuff is so hot. Some of this, I think, like, we have um, Sherry McMillan has her <clears throat> chips. That's crazy hot. I will not eat that, but Tim That's did. The another one bites the dust. <clears throat> um, hot Dang Show has the bites. Um, Which is... When he did with the, the nem like nemesis and the little right bites. There. You guys see it? Another one bites the dust. That's Sherry McMillan's chip challenge. So, some of these are just, just some of the ones that you can get your hands on, and they're so expensive. It's great. It's great marketing for them. I just, I don't know. I think it was really cool that Sherry did it, and Hot Dang Show has their own. And if you can get your hands on that kind of stuff, yeah. I think that's good quality. Got to support the smaller, the smaller markets. Well, because that's more limited. Mm -hmm. When you have something that's like Pocky, and I'm not bad mouthing anybody or Pocky or anything, but when you have somebody that has that big of a name and there's so many people out there trying to get that product, I think, I just think that it's going to be overran and you're going to have so many people doing the same thing and you're like, okay, okay, okay. I think the wife's good that the hype's not going to be there. So right. you have to be like a new company that's, hey, try this, try this one out. Yep, so. yep. Cool. Like Fat Cat. Right, okay. Yeah, three bucks for a bottle of hot sauce. That's, That's awesome. amazing. <clears throat> the shipping would probably be more to ship that here. Yes. And I think that's where I, I just, I don't know. But these are really good sauces. You guys got to check out Fat Cat. Yeah. Meow. I was very happy. Very happy. This, this one, this one is, I'm going to put, I'm going to actually write down here Italian so I know next time we have lasagna or spaghetti or enchiladas, this is going to get smothered with the sauce here. All right, Lavis Girl, so you said you did eight out of ten. How could, was, is there a reason why you couldn't finish the last two? They're probably Just gross. Just curiosity. I'm just kidding. I'd be like, eight, I'm done. I mean, I don't know for, for sometimes the burn is just too wicked. Normally, it's the stomach that said, dude, you're done. It's usually the stomach that makes <clears> me <throat> makes me uh, throw the towel in. Just curious. Hot dang show, make it 54 times hotter for me, please. Oh, jeez. Sherry McMillan is working on it. <clears throat> Rob Schaller, I still have to do Sherry's chip challenge from last year as it's still in the shipping box. It's almost a year. Well, I, I think it just got hotter. <laughs> That's a possibility. Never know. It could be like, it could be like a bottle of wine. It gets, it gets better through time. Uh, like fine wine. I will, Roger, two bags for the price of one. I haven't right. lost any, but I was been stuck at the same spot. Tone Ranger. Yeah, Tone Ranger. Tone Ranger, he did, he did the tapaki. I watched his uh, show on it. Got the hiccups. James Curry, someone make a mediocre challenge bar. Yes, do that. And then um, James Curry, you and I can challenge each other mediocre on a mediocre, cha the mediocre, mediocre challenge, challenge bar. bar. Let's see who can it's do gotta it. got to get a ring to it. Yeah, Tone Ranger, guys, check him out. Uh, he did the pocket chip. Got the hiccups. I love seeing people get hiccups. I've never gotten hiccups off a challenge before. Something's, something else has got to give me the hiccups. Just gotta find it. I just don't see a lot of other products till after everyone else does it. I know. Ooh, Sherry, I'm liking what you're saying there. Sherry might be working on a new product there. Ralph's Sherry, trucking. absolutely. Took my wife out for our anniversary. She ate some nasty crap. She loves it, so make her happy. Well, hello. Happy birthday. Ralph. Do you, do you. Ralph, you're such a romantic, romantic husband that your wife ate a bunch of crap on the anniversary. What'd you do that for, Ralph? Ralph's truck. Guys, you got Ralph's trucking. Ralph's a funny dude, obviously. Good to see you, Ralph. Thanks for popping in. <clears throat> Ate some nasty crap for anniversary. <laughs> Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic. That's funny. He went too high, body froze. Oh. I, I'm with you. I just. I don't think yeah. I've got <clears throat> body froze. I got really. I got really puffy in the face when I did the, the tube of terror. I did two, it gets swollen right here. Got, veins pop out. I did the two tubes of terror, like, when I first started doing this stuff. I got real puffy here in my upper lip. I 
It was like really puffy. I never froze before. Um, really kind of cool. Tone Ranger, I think Dustin said that this year is hotter than last. I've, I've heard that, but I've also <laughs> heard it does not taste very good. Now, if this chip has e extract in it, I can't. I know a lot of people do not like the flavor extract like at that. all. I hate the flavor extract. And it is is not, it Dagon Hills? Well, it does not on. agree with my stomach at all. All right, Ryan Pugh, go Packers. You're welcome, Ralph and wife boo on her birthday. Good to see you, Ryan Pugh. Go Packers. You got that right. Unfortunately, my uh, my Cardinals. Jerry go McMillan. Paco. Ryan Pugh, good to see you, dude. <clears throat> Ryan Pugh, what's up? Tim, do you want to try my new chips? Been working on it. Got the powder done today. Heck yep. yeah, he does. I won't, though. I will, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Last time you Sherry done McMillan. something, Sherry, I cried. Sherry oh. McMillan, she has, she had a store going for a little while. Um, anything that Sherry McMillan has made, I've been her guinea pig, which I love it. I love collaborating with Sherry because she's my Chilean sister. Anything that you want to make sure I will... Without a doubt, absolutely be your guinea pig for because everything that you sent me and challenge you sent me, I've loved it. Especially the cookie, it's the cookie challenge that she sent us. Sherry McMillan and the wife put a little fast one on me. No, he didn't. I was so like, oh my god, it's so hot, it's so hot, and so, I had like. So they made this. Cookie. They made this cookie. Sherry McMillan made my cookie like extremely hot, and <laughs> hers wasn't. So she's like faking, like, oh my god. <laughs> Come to find out that her cookie was just a cookie. Mine had all the It was just like a it. chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> so, that show is also on the channel, you guys. It's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, Sherry, remember she's made a uh, challenge bar. <clears throat> What's Sherry? What's the scoop with the bar? Yeah. I'll keep pushing that bar, Sherry. Tony I'm the only person that defeated your bar at 30 Carolina. At 35, was it 35 Carolina? Tony Drew says the extract wasn't overbearing with one. It did make me somewhat uncomfortable the next day. I totally, I believe that. Need it again, brother. Facebook updated. I lost people. Uh, Ralph's trucking. All done with all football. Oh, man. Yes, Ralph. I know your feeling on that. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's... Ugh. Let's see here. Jessica Johnson. I'll catch you all live. <laughs> Hello, Jessica. Appreciate it. Welcome, Appreciate welcome. it, guys. Don't forget the thumbs up. Again, if you do the channel, don't forget to do the sell Yay. favor. Subscribe. Hit the bell. That way you'll always be notified when we go live. And then also gonna... connect with each other. Yes. You guys share each yes. other share out. Each other out. Each other. Say hi each other. Say hello. Get connected. Um, just do it properly. Don't overload the chat with any you know, stupid crap. Weird. But the mods caught the weirdness before. Just, the, just saying. Yes. Good I missed chat. that one because I was focusing on the uh, the sauce bowl. Mm. I could probably only imagine what, what was well, said. You know, Part of the norm. All right, Dove says, Skins fans all day, we lost the bet. That was a great, great show from Dove's family. Grew Reaper, Scorpions, and Ghosts in my garden this year. Heck yeah, Jessica nice. Johnson. That's nice, awesome. Nice, nice, nice. nice. We, Hopefully your warm weather sticks around because we're losing our heat very quickly. Where, what state are you located, Jessica? We're in Wisconsin, so we're at like 54 degrees now, but we were at 73 earlier. Yeah. No sun today, yeah. but... We're at 53 right now. Oh, that was close. Next week, Thursday, it's going to be like 34 or 35 degrees at night. That's what the forecast is saying. Yeah. Just the next two weeks are going to be cold. I think our garden is going to take a poop. That stinks. But we did move our reaper plants. And our ghosts. And our ghost peppers <clears throat> in the garage. So hopefully we're going to try to keep those, at least keep those alive through the winter months. Having our two greenhouses last year in the garage is a lot of that work. Was a lot of work. And it ran out of room like space for them to grow so we're just going to do the one yeah. this year we probably out. had 28 to 31 plants in there and uh some for some reason aphids infected the greenhouse and we lost everything except for three plants so that's awesome right, in iowa the, okay the so atomic in iowa. peanut brittle yeah a hot dang show i did <clears throat> i did see the atomic peanut brittle um I think I got a sample of that when uh, we did the uh, the ten tubes of tear um, challenge. The spoonful of tear. What the hell, what, what the hell is that called, Ron? The ten tubes of tear. We had. But I think that he sent me a, a little sample of it. I probably will look into doing that peanut brittle here eventually. $5. I love peanut brittle. Five dollars, really? Five dollars each? That's not so bad. 
Right, Roger, PM me. Let me. That's I'm jumping on that for five bucks. Heck yeah, I'll Did jump on that. Did you read what sure. Jessica said too? Posted on Facebook. If any of my friends wanted them, they had to eat them live on camera. I got a few takers. The videos were so freaking funny. That's awesome. Absolutely, Jessica Johnson. Um, we have a PO box and description box. Um, whatever you send to, I don't think the wife will do it, but. Uh, I don't know. I'll do it for sure. He would do it. Just let me know. I'll yeah, um, yeah. PO box is, is listed in the description box. Columbus, um, Indiana, no host. Heck yeah, for sure, absolutely, absolutely. Iowa, see you're right. Iowa, you're <laughs> just right, right below us. Um, Sherry said, "What did you make with your peppers to make cake?" So, here's a scoop. I've been able to freeze a bunch of peppers. I've dehydrated dehydrated a bunch of peppers. Um, I actually made almost fifty some jars of pickles this year and I ended up stuffing Big Black Mamas, Red Ghosts, Jamaican Reds, Reapers, Chocolate Reapers, Scorpions, um, Habaneros, and Longhorns. Texas Longhorns, yep. And all different jars of pickles. And all peppers grown by yeah, they're all from our garden. So we got some uh, spicy peppers. Or spicy but then a peppers. lot of dill. Spicy pickles. For the kids. Brewing right now. So we're looking forward to that for they're sure. Done. Uh, they're done. Other than that, sure, I've, I've been doing best oh, to. Peach bangles, too. To chop up uh, peppers in the container. That way, if the wife makes something, it's, I got right there. Fresh the peppers. peppers to go on the food. So um, I'll, I'll pile it on my burgers. I'll stuff it in a burrito. So, yeah. I'm like making to good cook. use of them. I like to cook. So putting all these peppers in different dishes. Especially the hot ones like that for him. Whatever he wants to do with that, with that, that's whatever. But I had poblano peppers this year, and they did awesome. And oh, and banana peppers. But the poblanos, I ended up. Um, I just I make this like a cream sauce with the poblanos and like chicken broth and cilantro and just a ton of different stuff. I throw it in a blender and I blend it all together, and then I freeze it. And then when you want to go make it, so I made like a triple batch this last round because I had so many peppers. And it, you just dump it over raw chicken and bake it. And then top it with like Gouda cheese. See, I keep telling Amazing. the wife, she should do like a cooking channel, like a cooking channel. She freaking rocks in the kitchen, but she just she doesn't want to do it. I think she do an outstanding job. Mm. Right? Thanks, right? Buddy. I think you should. I can cook. Yes, you I can. I don't like to bake. All right, Tony, I got a few things in the works, all chili head related, but not all food related. Good to hear, Tone Ranger. Tone Ranger, good dude. Tone Ranger, I got your uh, your tinctures up there. Um, your Kiki, I like your Halloween costume. Tone Ranger, your caramel one is now officially gone. That was my coffee tincture. Well, she's like, why do you put tincture in coffee? So weird. I'm a weird guy. I know. So does Kiki. All right, Sherry says, I got gummies done. We'll send them to you, too. Oh, boy. Sherry. Sure. Oh, Can't wait. So, Sherry McMillan's going to be sending us gummies. Mm. Do they awesome. have vodka infused gummies? Do you have those? <laughs> well, knowing you two, Sherry will probably send me one that's like times four pepper heat, and you'll probably get one that's got vodka in it. Thanks. And you I can like... pretend that you're dying and burning and you're really not. Well, I really am, like the cookie challenge. Or she might just trick us and give you the weak one and give me the spicy one. That'd be great. That would be not great. Or I could actually just swap them myself, now that I know how sneaky you two are. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Sure, I couldn't find email, but requested join the Facebook group is Bob Socrates. Three of us in the same city, Rich Pond. You should make Rich me guys some chat with each other. Cool for cool. For sure. I love gummy bears. Gummy bears, gummy worms, gummy, gummy whatever. There's all kinds of gummy oh, stuff out there. Peach O's. Those peach O's. Soaked in vodka is like the best. Oh, the little circle things? Yeah. Yeah, those are cool. The peachos. Those are good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, those mm -hmm, are good for sure. Mm -hmm. So yummy. So yummy. <clears throat> so yeah, Anywho. so yeah, we got cool weather coming our way, unfortunately. The, the... Gotta love Wisconsin. It's gonna be so sad to see our pepper plants poop out. It's just it's kind of weird. The whole so 2020 well. has just been odd. So well. Just odd. It's like we're still on spring break. Yep. <laughs> Sure are. And now summer's over. It's like, wait, where did summer go? 
I'm just not ready. Oh, yeah, it's been weird. Timmy is sleepy. Me, I'm no, I'm wide awake, Ryder. I wasn't earlier. Yesterday I was sleepy. I took a nap earlier. I got like an hour and a half nap today. Yeah, I let her sleep. So she slept. The turd challenge. Is I watched of... football. That was great. I was like, you're watching football. I'm out. Good night. And I did. James Greer, what the hell is the turd challenge? I don't even want to know about the turd challenge. James Curry, let me Please know. don't send. I, I may, the I may want to uh, join your challenge there, James Curry. <laughs> the turd challenge. <clears throat> Groovy loves squirrel Kate. Just so you know, my daughter watches this channel for you. She thinks Tim is silly. That's awesome. I'm cool. Okay. That is so that, cool. That's awesome. Um, Tim is silly. She gave me a look like. What's that? Like, no, he's not. At least somebody thinks I'm silly. Shut up, Tim. I think the shirt's silly. I think it's cool. Can I pet your Speaking dog? Of, so he the says to me. The dog did not photo bomb the show tonight. She's sleeping like a little baby in the corner now. Over this here. Is, this yeah. is the first. She, um, so he says, oh, by the way, I ordered some shirts. So if the shirts come, you know, I ordered some shirts. Okay. So I open up this. I look at the, the shirts on the bed, and he's like, I'm, he's like you're going to probably think I'm stupid. But I think it's really funny. So I look at it and it says, can I pet your dog? I'm like, what the heck did you buy? Oh, God. See? You should see some laugh. Does this shirt not make you laugh when you <sighs> pet your dog? How many people out there saw someone walk with your dog and say, can I pet your dog? How many people walking down the street probably said, why is he wearing that shirt? <laughs> That's uh, But funny. again, it made her laugh. See, I'm all about making people <clears throat> laugh. <sighs> The coolest shirt ever. Can I you pet your dog. What kind of Next dog? time we go on Paul, I'm wearing a shirt. Please don't. Yep. <sighs> it's happening. She is all about girls eating sauce and hot stuff. She's going to pass my heat tolerance soon. Oh my goodness. Wow. So how, how old is she? Is she? Yeah, so how old is she? That's, That's awesome. That is really cool. Animal friendly channel. You got that right, James Curry. We love our pets. But unfortunately, they're both sleeping. Because they know what we, they know we just kind of hang out down here. They just like to be next to us at all times, so that's okay. Oh, she's 10? That's so wow. cool. Ooh, she's 10 and she can kick your butt nice. with the heat tolerance. Impressive. That's so awesome. I'm getting there. I w when I started doing this, I could not, I mean, there's a couple things that I still, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, there's a few things I that. I bumped it up a there's lot. A, there's a few things that she's surprised me on. Other things. Other what things. I that, um, what's this? What's that mean? There's been a few, a couple of shows that we've done where you bailed off camera and you didn't come back. And oh, there's, there's a couple there's, things. There was one sauce, but I'm not gonna say because this is all fat cat. But there's one sauce My show that we did. Come um, She never came back to the show. I went upstairs and she was actually laying on the kitchen floor tiles because it was too hot. I was like, she you bailed. know, that internal heat. It just, I could not cool down. No. Yeah. If you've ever seen the hot dang show and Tim eat the pizza, where like the sweat just pours off of him, just sitting there. No. Yeah. That's how I felt, and that's what was happening. Yeah, I think uh, uh, that shows that uh, the wife bailed. The wife bailed. I think that's how the show. You check it out. Great. So no, I've, I've not done my fair That's share embarrassing. Sure. The wife bailed. She bailed. Better than booted. See, grew a lot. I remember that stream. Grew a lot. Screw was there. J Dog. J Dog, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Kiki. It's a great shirt. Thank you, Kiki. This is a great shirt. Can I pet your dog? Everybody loves dogs. Everybody loves puppies. They're cute. I, you can't I just, just like walk pet. up to a, a strange dog and just start petting the dog. You always have to ask, Can I pet your dog? Because you never know, because sometimes we'll growl or bark or bite. You just never know. Roger so. just says, Wait, um, someone says pizza? Yes, the hot dang pizza. Hot Dang Show is all about pizza. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I got two eggs today. Oh, your chickens crack me up. I love them. So Sherry McMillan has chickens and she had these little tiny baby chicks, right? A couple of videos go by, the chicks are getting, they're like, they're getting, yeah, obviously they're growing, right? Like then she shows this next video and they're like full grown. It was funny. Your son cracked me up though. He's like, oh, I don't like the chicken. <laughs> Usually, when parents have kids and kids leave the house, parents get older, 
they get dogs, and dogs usually replace the kids. Sherry got a chicken. Sherry's got chickens. Sherry I think, got chickens. I think chicken. Sherry's kids are the chickens. They're so funny, Miss Diva. They, they, they run around. If you watch Sherry on the channel, she, she chases them with the camera. She's got Miss Diva. Yeah, you got to check funny. her out. That's funny. That, that's great. So, Sherry, Miss I'm glad Diva. to get chicken nuggets. That's awesome. I thought you just said chicken nuggets. <laughs> no, I didn't. Don't. Shh, don't say chicken nuggets around the chicken. Don't say smack. Don't smack the chicken, Sherry. I can't say that. What? She said smack the chicken and someone said something. Someone said something? When? Remember? But we're not smacking a chicken right now. I'm smacking you. Yes, love my chickens. Oh, the, chicken fart. <laughs> farting chicken. The farting chicken. Sherry McMillan, can you... We don't have chicken, so I don't know about the farting chicken. I'm sure it smells lovely out there. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. James, will you do the Pocky One Chip Challenge 2020? Yeah, we had just talked about that probably 20 minutes ago. Um, well, maybe I, they missed it. Well, so I, I, I sure. I, I don't. He's I not going to say no, but I don't know. I don't think so. If one came our way. I mean, if, if I went to the grocery store and I saw, I, I know a lot of people on Facebook, they go to the grocery store, the gas station, there's this display model. Then I would say, sure, I'll buy one. But, but I'm not going to go on my way. We don't have those here. So the chip itself is 7 bucks. Shipping is 8 so it's $15 for one chip. And it, I heard it tastes not I'm so not good. I'm not going to do that. But if I saw it at the store for 7 bucks, I'd be yeah, It smells like cedar chips, not the other. Oh. But I've heard it does not taste very well. Sherry's like sticking up for her chickens. It smells like cedar chips. <laughs> sure it does. Perfect. That's perfect. Perfect. Go from the fat cat. Amazon Prime is seven free shipping. Oh, well. Oh, well, okay, that's. That's feasible. That might get the little ball rolling a little bit there, Tone Ranger. Thank you for the intel on that one. But what if it's not the real chip from Amazon? Amazon sometimes, don't they say, like, it's not? I wouldn't pay extra shipping. Would you like to, me to send you two pocket chips? Hot dang show. Sure. Um, I will not do it, so, no. I, I don't know. Roger, have you... I like, I just, I just... Well, Roger, Roger's got, like... Roger's, he's got his own supply there. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to ruin what, what you got coming up, but. Um, Roger's only got one. Roger's got one chip. He's got one chip. Doesn't and it broke chip. already, so it's not even good. No, Alan's chip broke. Oh. Last year when he did the pocket one chip, my chip was broken, and she had the full chip, and I felt like Charlie Brown. I'm like, I got a rock. My chip was broken. <laughs> I got a rock. <clears throat> I've well, Roger, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I, sure. I can't do that pocket chip. I think I will die. I just can't do it. Ten chips cost seventy bucks. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's it's insane. Crazy. It's crazy. They're making money off of this chip, and I get it. The hype is there, but I am not feeding into that one. This one, the first time we did it, okay, that was cool. That was there. It was exciting to get it. But I don't. I just can't do it. I Andrew says he won't it. die. Van Vita travels. Hello, hello to you. Andrew, Van welcome. Vita, welcome. See him. You won't die. I think I will. Van Vita travels. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm afraid of Amazon is cheaper. Actually, yeah. I, I mean, I'll look into Amazon. I don't. Know. I, just, I, I went on the website, and chances are, I mean, every year they seem to sell out. And then people put them on eBay for like fifty bucks a piece. It's kind of silly. It is kind of silly. I don't know. I for me, I just. We've already done that chip once. I just don't see the hype in it to do it again. All right, Groovy, so Roger, I don't know how he got all those chips. I have no idea either, Groovy Lava Squirrel, how he got all those chips, but Roger, Roger's got a Roger's lot of chips. Roger's Roger. He's magical. Roger's hot dang show if you guys didn't know that. He's magical. All right, Andrew says you got a cat. Yes, we yeah. do have a fat cat. Andrew, that's what we got. All right, Mark's Ark, I just looked on Amazon Canada. The chip is 29 and 31 to ship. Okay. So, so for Mark's Ark, it's going to be $70 for a chip. That's ridiculous. 
Now, if I told the wife I bought a potato chip for seven bu or 70 bucks, Lame. I'd probably be in the doghouse for a long time. Well, you know, you did buy something else that was kind of lame, and I kind of snapped. What was that? Some peanuts. Well, the tube. I, was I like, still got the tube. What there. the heck did you spend $90? I still got. I still got. Oh, man. That She's talking insane. about the, the 10 tubes of terror I bought. I did buy 10 tubes of terror. That was lame. Just saying. She buys lame crap all the time. I buy clothes, perfume, bags, yeah, shoes. I can wear it. My stuff will last. If I were to turn the camera around, the, the clothes that she's bought that she no longer wears that are stacked. I actually stacked looked there. over there when you pointed. I'm like, uh oh, don't do it. Anyways, Anywho. I still have five tubes of tear, which I have mentioned numerous times. Um, plan is, I'm thinking, because this channel hitting 5K, five tubes was my, was my plan. The two-year anniversary of the channel is coming up at the end of November, so I'm thinking at that point will be the attempt to do five tubes of terror. That she says I was stupid for buying. Just saying. If it doesn't benefit me anyhow, I just... Whatever. <laughs> hey, where's Annalyn? Tell her I said hi. Shut up, Tim. Shush. Shut up, Shush. Tim. Yeah, thank you, Groovy Lava Squirrel. It was one of the most awesome streams ever, Kate. Wait, which one? The the ten tube of terror. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. It was good. It was good. She's being sassy, people. I am being sassy. I'm always sassy. Oh, here comes a child. Uh. Alright, James, I paid seven. It's seven left for Pocky one chip. Yeah, but but the, but you're not paying for the shipping costs because I love the one that lasts seven ninety five for one chip. And the more chips you buy, the more the shipping costs are. It's just all right. Sarah says, Kate, Kate, you can eat." Hold on, I couldn't see. Hold on. Sherry McMillan says, "Kate, you can eat one tube of tear." Um, oh, Sherry God. McMillan, there's no way in hell she could do one tube of tear. can't do it. I just, I can't do it, Captain. Just can't do it. Now, I thought someone, I thought I read somewhere that the, uh, the pocket chips were three ninety nine a piece. I don't know where I saw that somewhere. Um, well, me for Amazon here that I'm looking at, it's $6.65 for one chip. And, um, yeah. And is the shipping free or no? It'd be seven ninety nine for shipping unless See? you have Prime. Uh oh, unless you have Prime. But I got rid of Prime because I just don't. I we I don't use it anymore. I use other streaming stuff. Um, I don't really use it. I just make sure I order twenty five dollars or more. All right. See, so Groovy Lava Screw got it for three ninety nine. So. Steve? Where? I don't, I don't from know. where? Where'd you get them from, Groovy Lava Screw for three ninety nine? I know I saw someone mention that somewhere. I think it's just the worst outcome ever. The streaming for the 10 tube is here. I know Roger. I know Roger put his heart and soul on that show and the streaming sucked. Roger, we had issues today doing our stream with the Wi Fi acting crazy. Roger, you did the best you but could and it was I'd, not your fault. I just, again, want to thank you for inviting me to do that challenge. I was, you invited me. I was like, seriously? That's super so, cool. That was very cool. It was fun. Um, you can't always plan everything. So what we're talking about uh, on the League of Fires website is the 10 Tubes of Terror. Um, a bunch of us got together for a 10 Tube of Terror attempt. Um, I myself did four and a half tubes, which I was very impressed. I ate that many. So you got to check it out. It's on the LeagueofFire.com. But I have five tubes, so which would be my personal best, which are still up on the shelf up there. Yahoo. Right, this is latitude pricing. Got my contacts are being crazy. Three ninety nine in Texas and six ninety nine in Chicago. That's crazy. All for a chip. Just like for a chip, yeah. You know, I'm. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking at different stuff on here, and it's like. All right, Kiki says she has Prime. Andrew says turn off the rotor and well, should fix the Wi-Fi. I know Andrew, we're good now. I'm saying when the, we first started our show today, the Wi-Fi was not being very. Good. <coughs> 
I need combo hot pepper. Right, There's a lot of crazy stuff in here. There is one spot out here though that I might check out where we live. Um, so I went, I stopped at a gas station out here and it just happened to be I just went in and I'm like, holy crap, there's a Pocky ghost pepper chips. I can't find them anywhere. And I never go to this gas station and there they were. There was like five bags sitting on a shelf. So I bought them and we, I ate them. They were good. I mean, but again, it's yeah, that like was the luck of the draw. That was actual bait, not the actual chip channel. Yeah. Well, it was kind of so, cool. But they could be at that gas station. I never checked. I never went to I've look. stopped off to get gas or a soda or something right now and then at every place around here i i just i don't see them so but you guys can see you see the hype see how popular that chip challenge is it's, it's, for a chip i know it's, it's very, very kind popular. of tammy jackson what's up seriously the prime is cheaper 66 50 for 10 chips hmm. <laughs> see it's the baby yes. kitty chips no nope, we don't have a cat uh, only fat cat we got is this right here fat cat. A thing or two. i know I just can't. Ugh. I get scared with that chip. I ate that Pocky chip and I thought it was, I seriously, I did not do good. Ugh. Guru has sent so many chips to others, over 140, you sent 140 chips out? Wow. Holy crap. Way to go, Groovy Lava Dang. Squirrel. Medic? That's, oh, they that's might really need, cool. they might Lord. need a medic after that one. Wow. Hot Dang Show, you're a good man, and Groovy. Yeah, that's, a fatal That's hot good. fire challenge. Turn off the router, mono. Yeah, our we we're good now. No, we're good. I don't. I, have no idea I honestly before. think that maybe it was doing some kind of an update. I I'm not quite sure what's going on with our school stuff. So, all the kids are virtual, right now. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, yep. our kids are so. Eh. <sighs> so everybody's probably using the Wi-Fi and logging in and doing all their school stuff. That's For probably what's gas stations were. We're pick clean and sand. I know a lot of people are buying a lot of the chips to sell them on eBay to make a huge profit. So yeah, I don't. Pocky's got a good thing going, so I'm not quite sure. Byron says, "I love it, Kate, when you talk like Scotty from Star Trek." <laughs> How does Scotty talk from Star Trek? I don't know. What do I do? Beat me up? <laughs> Beat me up, Scotty? <laughs> That's funny. I want to know so I can say it again. I'll have to look up who, what Scotty says. I'm what not, did I do? I'm not a Star Trek person, so I'm not quite sure. Not a clue fishing. Hey, hey, what is up? Hey, what's up? Not a clue fishing. Good to see ya. Fatal oh, hot fire channel. With I chocolate. like chocolate so much that I don't know if I could do a fatal one. <sighs> I would uh, absolutely do that. Fatal hot fire channel. It's got to get ring to it. No profit made, not my side hustle. I get it. Yeah. I get it. No, I'm just saying, if you, I mean, if you go on eBay and type in Pocky Chip, because I've done it, I've sold the wife with these people selling these, these chips. It's insane. What do you think of the Cardinal so far, Timmy? Timmy. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Kiki um, Logan, I love you, girl. Andrew, tonight's Good game night, was, a, was a tough one to see. Three turnovers. Oh, it's 1030. But, um, Holy smokes, I'm very happy. Man. I'm... I'm we're good. We're good. Oh, white We're chocolate good. is good. White chocolate is really, really good. But uh, tonight's game, Andrew, is a game that we should have won. But be all right. We'll make the playoffs. I guarantee you. I think so, I have to all sign right, off. All right, got to go to bed. Yeah, we are going kiddos. to wrap it up here. Tell the wife I want to go 45 minutes live tonight, and we are well past that. Because What's your together, most so. favorite challenge? Um, the challenge, Roger, is not happened yet. It's. Me, Tim, you, and Annalyn. Time. That would be a fun challenge. My favorite challenge. My favorite. That's your favorite challenge. It hasn't happened yet. Roger, we gotta make this happen. Me and Annalyn, you and Tim. There you go, hot dang show. Got it? Challenge accepted? Mm, I think so. I think so. I think so. I think so. Andrew and Cardinals in the Super Bowl? Probably not yet, Andrew, but I'm thinking Mark playoffs Sark, for sure. Love you. Playoffs for sure. I think it's going to be. Uh, the... But it included you. Wrong answer. Andrew, that'd be I great, was going to send you both bites. Dude. That'd be great. 
I think so. I never answered David the question. David Nils is doing what's up, my little man. You? David Nils is doing holy moly. We're just about to sign off. Is it too late for you? Better go to bed. You got school in the morning. I think so. I never answered. By far, was the bites was my favorite challenge. You didn't give me a chance to answer. Yeah. But David Nils, too good to see him. David is also a uh, Cardinals fan. Yes, he good is. Good to see you, Haven. He's got Can a mean dunk along? from what I see. Yes. You right. missed it. We had some hot sauces. You'll have to come over and try some more hot yes. sauces. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Haven made a uh, appearance on the show a little while back. He may uh, make more appearances if he wants to. Just saying. Hint, hint. All right, Dub says, nice stream. Cards look nice this year. Yes, they do, Dub Stone. You got that right. Good night, Groovy Lava Squirrel. Good night, the ones leaving. Good night, good night, good night. Yes, we are probably going to sign off here. We'll sign off in a couple minutes. Hey, where are you at? So, James Bernard, good night, good night, good night. Marcos Tacos, come on. Marcos Tacos. <laughs> Speaking of tacos, David, one of these sauces down here is going to very, very good on tacos. Marcos Taco style? I think so. <laughs> All right, have to come He's soon. It's good. Hey, then, come on. Marcos Taco. Oh, yeah. What was that Chinese restaurant we went to? We, we, we served. Oh, Haven, what'd you eat at the Chinese? What was that Chinese restaurant here? Was it an oyster? So we went to Blue Harbor, like this resort, for Christmas one time. And um, we had to pull the Christmas story from that movie where they went out for Chinese dinner. So I'm like, let's go and get Chinese for Christmas Day dinner. Just We had to do it at least once. It's funny. Haven ends up getting like clams or oysters or I don't know, but I you're like that one was. It was really gritty. It was gritty, like sandy or something. I don't know. That's right. Andrew said Tim's petting his dog. Who's by his feet? Actually, both the dogs. I cannot believe. Yeah, what are you petting? <laughs> both dogs are laying over here. My hands oh, are good. oh God. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up. We go check on the kiddos. It is a school night. PG. Sherry, so, you got it, girl. PG. Um, so thank you guys for hanging out. Um, Fat Cat, awesome sauces. Not hot, but outstanding flavor. So thank you all for hanging out. Good to see every each one of you. We thank you guys so much for spending the time to hang out with us. Hot thing. Show's going to go play. Yeah, you go play. All right. I think so. Have fun playing, whatever you're playing with. Shake you PG. <laughs> I, almost, I almost said a Chris Farley one liner. I'm playing with my dinghy. <laughs> yeah, stop playing with your dinghy. Hot dang show. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's like, I love it. So next time, liner. hot sauce, sugar, Tim. We love you. Your wife. And we'll, uh, we'll see you real soon. Love you guys. Have a good night. Talk soon.